so basically what happened is Yes, they are, and if not, we'll complain. <laughs> so they've got lots of meds going, got my feeding tube going, and I want to say thank you so much for all of the support y'all gave me on that 30 second, I don't even know if I can call that a vlog, that 30 second update. And y'all made such a hard time more bearable with all the support and love and prayers and encouragement you sent. It, it means so much to me, I'm humble, thank you. And I know I didn't have to post that update, and I know I don't have to post the vlogs. I didn't feel obligated to, but I feel like I have a connection with y'all, and I wanted to let you know what was going on because I didn't want y'all to worry. You know, I like to keep y'all updated with what's happening because because of that connection I feel I have with y'all. And I'm not going to do a vlog if it's not feasible for me because of my health, but I enjoy doing them. I'm feeling better today. It's more practical. It's going to help me feel better with what's going on. So basically what happened is, y'all know that on Thursday, I was doing okay. I was just really exhausted from the IVIG. But on Friday, Harlow woke me up in the morning telling me I was going to pass out, which I thought was weird because I was laying down. I hadn't even gotten out of bed yet, but I checked my heart rate and it was over 160. So I knew the day was already not starting out great. So I fainted came to, rewarded Harlow, and I tried to sit up, and I had an excruciating migraine, so I had to lay back down. Tried to sit up again, same thing. So it took me an hour to get out of bed because of the migraine. And then in the bathroom, I was so dizzy and weak from the migraine that I fell and I actually hit my head here and kind of banged it up, but it's, it's better. And from there, things got worse and my neck started hurting and got really stiff and the pain traveled all the way down my spine to my lower back and I had shooting pains and I started vomiting. And so I woke up my mom and things just got so bad that we woke up Judd because remember he has that weird shift. And so Judd was just like, yeah, we're taking you to the ER. So came to the hospital and they immediately thought meningitis because aseptic meningitis is a rare but possible side effect of IVIG and since I just had it the day before it made sense and I had uncontrollable shaking I had tremors I was puking nauseous I had a fever unbearable pain so they immediately hooked me up to fluids anti-nausea meds IV pain meds and with meningitis you can have bacterial which is dangerous and you can have aseptic, which is extremely painful, but not as dangerous. And they didn't want to take any chances, so they hooked me up to IV antibiotics right away in case it was bacterial meningitis. But then I saw infectious disease the next day, I was out the day after I was admitted, and they said I shouldn't have had antibiotics before getting a spinal tap done because now the spinal tap would be useless since the antibiotics would have cleared out whatever was in my cerebral spinal fluid. So now we can't know for sure what type of meningitis I have. So just to be safe, I'm still on a bunch of different IV antibiotics. I'm still on pain meds, IV fluids, IV anti-nausea meds. And I mean, they're taking care of me, but we don't know when I can go home because we don't know what type I have. We're not totally controlling my pain yet. Um, they did a CT scan to make sure I didn't have a concussion from this. And I don't, thankfully. They're gonna do an MRI with and without contrast of my brain and neck. I think an x-ray of my neck, maybe one of my spine because my lower back pain. And like, if I move my legs, I get shooting pains. So it's not fun, but I mean, y'all are catching me at a good moment because I get two hours of relief with my pain meds and I can only get it every four hours. So it's like two hours of some relief, two hours of excruciating pain, so catching me at a good time but they are taking good care of me here the doctors nurses and staff are excellent and in case you don't know meningitis is inflammation of the meninges and lining of the brain and spinal cord it's very painful like i can't open my mouth all the way i can't bend my neck it's 
very difficult for me to move, but thankfully I am doing better. I don't know if I'll be able to get my feeding tube on Friday, my new GJ button. We also don't know if I'm going to continue IVIG. Personally, I want to because I know people who have bad setbacks like this in the beginning, but then their body can tolerate it and they get fabulous results. IVIG is really the only treatment for my immuno dysfunction, which causes so many problems for me. Maybe my doctor will have me do it inpatient next time. Maybe we'll add more pre-meds. Maybe we'll run it slower. I don't know. We're not totally focused on that right now. Right now we're focused on getting me better, but we'll see. Not sure how long I'm gonna be here either, but hanging in there. I tried to do the MRI and the noise just brought the migraine back full force and the way I have to lay on the table was just so painful for my back and my neck and my legs. So I had to stop it. And then when they tried to transfer me from the MRI back to my bed, I passed out. It was just not good. And they tried giving me an oral painkiller because it'd be easier to go home on that than IV painkillers. But my stomach doesn't absorb it because of the gastroparesis, so it's not working at all. So now the doctor ordered a liquid one to put through my feeding tube. And we're hoping that'll help, but I won't get it for a few hours because we have to wait for the oral one to get out of my system. Even though I don't absorb it, it's dangerous to cross because I might get too much. So I'm just going to sit here and wait. And that's what I'm doing right now. We have the liquid medication we're going to put through my feeding tube. First, we flush with water. There's too many cables down there now. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's right. Yeah, I would say pink, my favorite color. Thank you. Yes. We have the best nurses here, by the way. Yes, we do. Oh, I like pink. That's nice. Unclamp. Say this liquid painkiller helps. Do it little by little. Flush again with water. Yep. Yeah. Sure. Okay. I told my mom I could sit here the rest of my life if it doesn't work. This is where I get the most relief. <laughs> That's sad. It's okay. We'll figure it out. Thank you. The problem is with Ehlers Jalor syndrome, you tend to metabolize certain medications and maybe just some of the painkillers don't work on me as well as others do so we're trying to find the best one and since I don't use painkillers ever because it's not good for my gastroparesis now is an exception because of the pain I'm in uh, we just don't know what works best for me right. thank you so much now I can't turn <laughs> Let me put this in there. That means you have two of them. Shall we put another one here or not? I don't know. Yeah, just one. How is it? got a better control on my pain maybe tomorrow yeah because it's the weekend so things can <clears throat> kind of slow down on the weekend that was the first time I was actually able to get up and walk without excruciating pain 
and I cleaned myself up since the first time I got admitted here and I am so thankful to have better pain control. I mean, there's still pain, but more tolerable and I can get this medication every six hours. I'll see how long it lasts me, hopefully six hours. And we've still got some more testing we gotta do. All of my physicians here are convinced it's aseptic meningitis, but like I said, we're treating it as if it's bacterial just to be safe. But with aseptic meningitis, it's kind of just managing symptoms until it leaves my system, which could be anywhere from a few days to up to two weeks. But since I'm getting a little better each day, I think I should be out of here. Hopefully, I can't even guess when. The doctors have no idea when I'll be leaving, but I'm saying hopefully soon. Though last night was really rough, like apparently I was in so much pain and my fever had gotten so bad, I was like a little out of it. And I puked and like took off my gown and was trying to take off all my like leads for my heart monitor and stuff and I didn't even remember that. So the nurses had to come in and like calm me down and like, I don't know. But I'm doing, doing okay and I'm really thankful for my mom my mom has been here i haven't been able to see harlow because it's just been so hands-on with my care like it wasn't really practical to have her here but since things are settling down she'll probably be able to come tomorrow and i'm so excited to see her my mom and judd have been going home to take care of her judd's been working the past few days but he always stops by here before he goes to work so i get to see him which is nice um so don't worry, Harlow's been taken care of, I'm being taken care of, but Judd's off tomorrow, so I think he's gonna spend all day here and he's gonna bring Harlow, so I'm looking forward to that. Mm -hmm. When you really need pain medication, but you still gotta wait a few hours. Oh, thank goodness for my feeding tube and liquid pain medicine to save the day. Because if it wasn't for that, I don't know what we'd be doing. Unfortunately, the new liquid medicine can only be given every six hours, and it only works for me for about three hours, but they're going to give me something in between, right, Mom? Yes. Like, a, I think it's portal a non-steroid anti-inflammatory drug in between the narcotic to see if that helps me, but we'll see. And I just want to say thank you for y'all to stick through this with me. And I'm not able to reply to questions or comments, but I'm sure y'all understand. I have been getting a little bit better each day, but tomorrow might not be the case. I may not feel well enough to do a vlog, but I'm sure you'll understand. I just wanted to let you know. Don't be surprised if there's no vlog, but I just want to say thank you. I'm feeling really grateful for my mom. She's been... Mom, I don't know what I'd do without you, honestly. You've been such a big help. And tomorrow, Judd is off. I get to see Carlo. I'm exhausted, so I'm going to say goodnight, and thanks for joining us. This is my adventure.